2017 and welcome back to um, my channel Bunzel. Um, so today's video I'm going to be doing um, a 2016 empties video so um, basically showing you the things that I finished during 2016. Um, so I've got them all in a bag um, so I'll just show you at random and I'll tell you whether I liked them, whether I would repurchase them, just stuff like that. So the first thing that I've picked up is Tresemme um, Split Remedy. Um, so it's for your hair and basically you put it on your ends to uh, help prevent split ends. Um, so I really liked this. It smells really good. I haven't, it feels like I haven't used it in ages but yeah, I think um, my Nana got this for me and uh, it, I think it really helped. Yeah, I'd probably um, repurchase this. Um, so yes, I do like that. Yes, repurchase. Good. Tick. Next few things are makeup things. So this is the majority of my empties. Um, the first thing is the Giordano Bush Slash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Now, I first heard of this mascara um, from Lauren Curtis's channel, and when I went to America, I had to get it. It is so cheap, it's like $2, not even. I think we ended up finding it in Walmart, or was it Walgreens? I came home and tried it, and I loved it instantly. Um, it's quite a thin wand, um, thinner to a lot of other ones. Um, and it is so liquidy um, it's not waterproof so if you're someone who uses waterproof mascara then it's probably not the mascara for you and if you do not like wet mascaras probably still not again I would definitely buy this it is a really good mascara and it is so cheap and that's just a massive tip in my books um, the next thing is a concealer. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Yeah, I really liked this. It's waste, ugh, can't speak. Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And it's really good. I would put this as good, but I, I don't know if I would repurchase it because I like sort of looking at new mascara. mascaras concealers. <laughs> so yes, but probably not a definite repurchase. The next one is a foundation. So this is the Models Prefer Liquid Foundation. Um, so when I first started getting into makeup and had my own makeup, my mum sort of got me um, like a little mini starter kit of makeup. Um, so this was in it. Um, it's in the colour Natural Beige. I think it worked really well to be honest. Um, it was my first foundation. I, the thing that I need to find with foundation, <laughs> so if you have any suggestions for foundation that minimises redness, um, please let me know in the comments. Um, this, it was good, but I probably wouldn't um, repurchase it. The next makeup thing is the NARS Luminous Powder in La Pony. Is that the colour? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so this is just sort of like sort of like a tester one. Um, I really liked this. This, a lot of the time for school, though I'm not at school anymore so I don't feel like I have any restrictions for makeup, which I'm loving. A lot of the time for school and for dance I wouldn't wear um, foundation, I would just put powder on. And But I would still want to try and find that powder that sort of minimises my redness. This did not to the point that you couldn't see it because it was a powder but it still worked really well this is definitely a powder press it's a pressed powder it's definitely a pressed powder that i would repurchase though i have got a new one which is a drugstore one and i'm really liking that right now um so if it's really good it might be in my favorites video <laughs> um but anyway so yes this um the nars luminous powder is a definite good yes and a yes I would repurchase. My last sort of makeup thing slash skincare is just a makeup remover. It's the Maybelline um, makeup remover for eye and lips. Um, so this 
I enjoyed. Enjoyed? Sort of. <laughs> it was good. Um, majority of what I used last year was just sort of the ends of the bottle. But what I can remember from using it, it was pretty good. But I have, um, like, makeup wipes and cleansers and stuff that I prefer over this. So this was very good for getting your eyeliner off, but I feel there are probably some other products that do it a lot better. So it was a good, good for a, if you don't fully cleanse your face and everything like that. Um, so it's probably really good for young people. So it's a yes was good, but probably wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, so this one is a perfume. It actually smells really good. It's like a fresh smell. I haven't even told you what it is. <laughs> um, Le Air du Temps Nina Ricci? Ricci? Uh, the sunlight is funny. It's white and gold. I love the packaging. It's just nice and simple. Um, but it actually smells so good. It's like fresh. It reminds me of... A little bit of the beach, but not, because it's not like seaweedy or salty or anything. It's just really nice and fresh. I would definitely repurchase this. It smells so good. But okay, so my last two things are candles. Um, so this one is the Fig and Papaya Fragrant Candle. Um, it's from Kmart. It smells good. And I, I remember burning it and it was really good. It's like, it was sort of like a greeny colour. Um, yeah, it's good. I like the smells of fig and papaya, but probably not a repurchase. I didn't love it. I didn't feel the need to always light it. This is a candle that smells good. It was probably cheap, so that's a good thing. But I wouldn't repurchase it. The last thing is another candle. This is, um, it says Reef. I, how cool is that? It does not look like a candle. I am actually so, well, I've taken out the candle. There we go. <laughs> but I'm actually so tempted to just use this as something. I don't know what to use it for. Like, would it fit bobby pins? Though I already have a space for my bobby pins. It could fit hair ties. Hmm. Leave a comment down below of what you think I could use this for. Anyway, my camera is flashing. One second. Okay, sorry if it's changed a little bit. I feel like it's... Okay, they are straight. I seem straight in the camera, but they do not. And they are boxes. Firstly, I love the packaging. Secondly, the smell, I loved it. But I wouldn't repurchase it. I recommend it to try but it's probably like a, a one-time candle like I wouldn't go and purchase it again that's all of my empties so basically everything that I finished during 2016 none of it was bad some of it was good and a definite repurchase and some of it was good but not repurchase I think the good but not repurchase wins so I hope you enjoyed this video. Give um, it a thumbs up um, and subscribe um, down below. Um, check out my last video was my 2016 bloopers video. I'm really looking forward to what is going to happen with my YouTube channel this year. I'm just, I loved making videos last year but I know I took a massive break when it came to um, exam time and stuff like that. But I'm looking forward to making more videos and doing a few random vlogs here and there. I've made a new channel because I just decided 2017 is like seriously a jump from 20, 2016 2017 for me is a jump because I'm going from school life to I'm still a student because I'm at uni but it's like a whole different sort of chapter. So 
for that I decided that from now on any vlogs that I film from 2017 here on out will be uploaded on my second channel which is called Everyday Bunzel. Uh, but yeah, so go check out my vlogmas, go check out my bloopers video um, of 2016, give this video a thumbs up um, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. This is going to be a major editing video because I have talked everyone's head off. Well, I've talked my head off at least. Anyway, bye guys.